Wet plate amber types are glass plates which can capture images when coated with an emulsion on the surface. Start by taking the sharp edges off the glass by using a stone or sandpaper. Make sure that the glass is squeaky clean to remove all dust and flakes of glass by using a mixture of calcium carbonate, distilled water and denatured alcohol in equal amounts. We need to make sure that the edges are particularly clean. Albumin is coated to the edges of the glass plate to prevent shrinkage of the collodion when it's applied. This is simply one egg white to 300 millilitres of distilled water, shaken and then the froth removed from the top of the mixture. It's best applied using a clean cotton bud and only needs to be applied at the edges of the plate. When the albumin has dried, we can then coat the surface of the plate with our collodion mix. You'll find a PDF datasheet on my website resource page. When the plate has an even coating of collodion, the excess is poured back into the bottle. The plate is rocked to remove any rivulets or any ridges caused by the setting collodion. The plate is not yet light sensitive, so all this can be done in normal daylight. The drip corner is then tapped onto a paper towel and we only move on to the next stage when it stops leaving marks. It's sufficiently dry to then go into the silver tank. The plate is then placed in a 9% solution of silver nitrate. This is what actually makes the plate light sensitive and able to capture images. It'll stay in the tank for about three to four minutes depending on the time of year and the temperature. Making tin types is similar to the amber type process but doesn't require all the cleaning. The plate is protected by a thin plastic film which is just peeled off the surface and then it's ready to be coated with the collodion. Everything else remains the same. After the plate, whether it be an amber type or a tin type, has been in the tank for about 4 minutes, 3 minutes in the summer, then basically it's light sensitive and can only be brought out of the tank under a red safe light. The plate now has a milky appearance on the surface, which is the silver reacting with the collodion to make it light sensitive. The excess silver then needs to be drained off and the edges dried before placing into the plate holder. The back of the plate now needs to be completely dry to prevent cross-contamination in the plate holder. The plate holder then needs to be light safe before it can be used in the camera. The large format camera has already had all its settings made and has been pre-focused on the subject 
prior to bringing the plate out. Once the plate holder has been placed in the back of the camera, the dark slide is removed and then the image can be taken for the prerequisite time. This can be as little as a few seconds or many minutes. The dark slide is then placed back in the film holder and then it can be removed to the dark room for processing. Remember that the plate can only be removed under red safe light conditions. The image is processed with a ferrous sulfate developer and must be done very quickly over the surface of the plate. It will only take about 15 seconds to develop. We halt the development process by running cold water over the top of the plate, just like we did with the developer. After stopping the development, we put it in a bath of sodium thiosulfate fixer. Because the development process is now completely finished, we can turn the main lights on and have a good look at what we've produced. This is the part of the process where the image reveals itself. The fixer washes away all unresolved silver. We continue the fixing process until all the unexposed areas of the plate have cleared. Finally, it's placed in a water bath to remove all traces of chemical from the plate. Once dry, we heat the plate over an alcohol lamp to warm up the plate surface. We then pour sandarac or shellac varnish to protect the fragile image surface. It's important to wipe any excess off the back of the plate as this is highly flammable and could catch fire. After pouring the sandarac or shellac varnish we heat the plate again just to seal it to the surface of the plate. The transparent image becomes visible when viewed against a dark or black background. 